Hi, my name is Corbin Coys. I'm a professional engineer with Q2 ALS. Today, I'll be describing artificial lift, Bernoulli's equation, and a formula that I derived after 15 years of experimentation with traveling and standing valves. With full flow cages and conventional cages, they have a flat velocity profile that comes up and the ball vibrates back and forth. One, that causes little eddies that cause pressure drop, which decreases your flow. Two, it causes a lot of frictional energy in your pumps. Instead of a flat velocity profile, Q2 flow has a spherical velocity profile that cups that ball and holds it in place while maximizing the velocity profile in the smallest cross-sectional area of your pump. That does a number of things. One, it stops the ball from vibrating back and forth and causing frictional energy in your pump. Two, you can see the velocity profile is maximum in that cross-sectional area here. Every time you pump your stroke, you get more kinetic energy in the smallest area of your pump, which increases your velocity every time you pump your stroke. Another important thing is that if there's gas entrained in here, it stays in the liquid and creates a vortex up top. So on your downstroke with your travel valve, you don't get the fluid pound that hits that gas liquid interface, which causes a lot of problems in sucker rod pumps. I hope this little talk helps production engineers appreciate the importance of fluid dynamics and how that can help them on their oil productivity.